Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Morris versus Thorpe. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Morris, you're here because you say certain facts have come to light that make you believe that you fathered one of Miss Thorpe's twins and not the other. You claim a botched home DNA test separated you from your daughter, London, and you intend to rectify that issue today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Thorpe, you say Mr. Morris's claim is ridiculous and that he very clearly fathered both of your twins, Paris and London. And you say Mr. Morris's efforts to go behind your back blew up in his face, and you intend to clean up his mess today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Morris, what do you mean you're the father of one twin and not the other? Explain. Exactly how I sound. Um, originally, I was believed that both of them was mine. Uh, over time, certain circumstances made me feel like neither were mine. And then after that, different things happened that made me believe just London was. We've examined this issue um, completely in this courtroom, and we do know it's possible for a man to be the father of one of two fraternal twins. So we do understand that. And that's basically what you're claiming today. Yes, ma'am. Twins with two different fathers. Now, that would be shocking. Please take me back now. Um, to your relationship, Miss Thorpe, you're saying that you know he is the father? Yes, Your Honor. Of both twins? Yes, Your Honor. Explain. Um, I was seeing another guy at the time that me and Antoine was talking, but the time matched up to Antoine being the father of both of my kids. Before anything, we were friends, so I don't even understand why he's even putting me through this. I told Antoine that I wanted to be in a relationship with him, and he turned me down because he was still in love with the mother of his other child. So... <laughs> so, when that time happened, I got upset and I started messing with another guy. Okay. And this was after you were already intimate with Mr. Morris? Yes, Your Honor. So, you went into the tit-for-tat, if he don't want me... I'll go be with somebody else. He's with somebody else. I'll go get somebody else. Yes, Your Honor. Did you keep having sex with Mr. Morris? I did. Yes, Your Honor. So, Miss Thorpe, at some point, you find out you're pregnant. Take me to that day. Um, I had went to the doctor for, like, just a regular checkup. Um, she came in and she told me that I was pregnant. He was very happy. He seemed like he was very happy about the situation. I was... I was ecstatic. I, I was very, very happy. Like, I... I went all out. I bought two of everything. It, it cost a lot. It was bassinets here, strollers there, car seats. Uh, moved her into a family member house uh, during her pregnancy. Uh, Try to make her as comfortable as possible. She hungry every day. I, <laughs> I gotta feed her. Um, That's the least you could do. <laughs> <laughs> but. I was there. I, I, I was picking out baby names, you know, just, just ready for the whole ordeal. You were there? Yes. Were you there for the birth? Yes, ma'am. I was the first one to get to see him and hold him. Um, she was in a lot of pain, and they was in an inside you unit. It was only three pounds. Uh, but it was amazing, though. It was... Spent the next two, uh, couple months inside the hospital. Uh, I was there every, every moment, every day. Outside of work, I was there. Uh, Nursing them back to health. So, were you... You were committed? Of course. So, Mr. Morris, when do you get doubtful? Honestly, just one day I was in a local drug store and I... Out of the blue, I know it sounds crazy, but this DNA test was just sticking out. And, like, everything else was just, like, black. I'm like, a test? What, what the... A test? So, I bought it. Just like that. I didn't doubt them not one bit, but I went back to the house without Imani's uh, knowledge. And inside the test, it was a thing where you get three samples, one for the father, one for the child, and one for the child's mother. But, of course, she didn't know, so I swabbed myself, Paris, and then I used the one for the mother on the other child. Your Honor, he told me he don't even know which child he swabbed. N no, I don't know which child ended up being tested, because they only tested one. 
I called the DNA pl uh, place after and I kind of explained the situation. And she said, if I got a results back at all, then they collected two separate DNAs from what I sent in. She said, if it was completed wrong or didn't have enough or whatever, then it would have came back in A. Okay, inconclusive. Yes, ma'am. Like I said, just... All right, so you send the results in and of course, how do they come back? Uh, zero percent probability. But you do understand that you didn't even use the swabs right. I would just hope... I, I don't know. Like I said, so... No, you don't. I don't. I didn't. <laughs> you made, no, I mean, the truth is, you don't. You were making something up. But I, like, everything was just confusing, so... It was. I, and I was lost. <laughs> That's why we're here today. And it is. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Miss Thorpe, so what happens after he gets these results back? He comes to you and tells you he did it? No, Your Honor, I was at work at the time. He actually texted me and told me that the DNA test came back and that the twins were not his. Um, at the time, I didn't respond automatically because, like I said, I was at work. So he ended up getting very upset and ended up posting it all over social media and telling everybody. <laughs> he posted it all over social media and told everybody that the DNA test came back and that the kids were not his. Um, um, so... Did you also post, Mr. Morris, that you didn't do the test properly? <laughs> no. I know you didn't. <laughs> all right, so now you got it all over social media that these aren't my babies. I've done a DNA test and these aren't my babies and you lying. That's basically what he's saying. Yes, Your Honor. When I called and said the uh, you know, results, I got a response that was like she knew. She had just said, when I said, I got a test done on the twins, they are not mine. And her response was, oh. Oh! Your Honor, on my defense, I was at work at the time. I, I wasn't able to respond the way that I wanted to respond. When I got the so O, I was, you knew. Right. But yeah, that's I no was... reason to put it on Facebook, though, Your yeah, Honor. I, no, I... that is no reason to put it. At the time, I was more so uh, hurt than... You were being a drama king. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because that's dramatic. Uh-huh. Because the truth is, that's not just about you or her. That's about the babies. So this whole thing blows up. You leave and don't come back for almost 18 months. Yes, ma'am. What makes you get back in touch with Miss Thorpe? I honestly was asking, uh, asking around uh, about how they was doing or what they was looking like. Family members and friends started to say, you sure they're not yours? And they... Sh I had got sent a picture of my youngest daughter now, and it was side by side with London. I feel like they look just alike. They the same age. Oh, you had two women pregnant at the same time? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you... 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 <laughs> You on team too much all the way around. <laughs> all the way around. Yes, ma'am. So, so you had another baby by another woman at the same time. The same so you... reason when I was telling Imani why I couldn't be in a relationship with her because I was in a long-term relationship with someone else. We was on a break then. Oh. But... But not that... Not too much of a break because you obviously had sex with her. Yes, Your Honor. Is that baby yours? Yes. And then you also had twins with Miss Thorpe. Same time, maybe, you think. That's, that's the twins and that's my youngest. So when you see the babies, you feel like you see a resemblance between London and your youngest. Yes, Your Honor. But you don't believe you see a resemblance between Paris and your youngest. Not as much, but the reason I'm saying Paris, on that test, the test still came back of results. If I'm believing one might be, then one still can't be. Because you're going back to your call to the lab and them saying that if your test is inconclusive, the results come back inconclusive. Yes. Or in slash A. Yes. Yes, sure. Which in your mind means, at least for one of them, you're not the biological father. That's the only explanation. All right. So you get back in touch and you then let Ms. Thorpe know, okay, I believe I'm the father of one twin because everybody's telling me that this is my child. 
I didn't tell her that exactly. I was just trying to check up on the girls. And she said, you know, I could see him, and that's why I've been around for the last two years. What kind of relationship do you have with the twins now? Great. They call you daddy? No. They're four. They call me Uncle Twan. Uncle Twan. <laughs> Uncle Twan. <laughs> yes. Boy, you about crazy. You just got too much going on. You done gone through all this only for the children and now call you Uncle Twan? I didn't tell them to. Oh, you told them to, Miss Thorpe? No, Your Honor. They just developed that because he's been along, he's been around since day one. So with him being around so much, they asked was Twan their dad, but I told him, I told him no. This is a mess. <laughs> This is the mess. You know what? It started off messy. The middle was messy. The end is messy. You all should be ashamed. These babies, four years old, sitting up. <laughs> really? To be four years old and have to sit up and ask two grown adults, is somebody my daddy? Babies got more sense than the mama and the daddy. Why, Miss Thorpe, would you look at these two girls and you say you know for certain Mr. Morris is their biological father? Why would you tell them no? Because we wasn't for sure at the time. I didn't want so to you tell aren't anyone's sure. father. You aren't sure. I mean, at the time, I didn't feel like I was sure, so I didn't want to tell them, have them caught. And then he wasn't even around. So wait a minute. Who else could be their dad? The, the other guy that I was talking so to. So you really don't know if he's the dad or not? I feel like he is. Oh, Lord. A feeling, a feeling, a feeling. We're not talking about feelings. We're talking about facts. Do you know for certain if Mr. Morris is your twin's biological father? It's a yes or no? Do you know for certain? No, Your Honor. There. You all just been circling around this doubt, circling around this dysfunction, circling around all of this confusion, trying to raise these babies? What's that little game you play when you're little? What's that one where the music play and you just be running around? Musical chairs. Musical chairs. That's what it feels like. Like you all just running around and then when the music stop, y'all just jump to a conclusion at work. Just jump down on it and sit down on that for a while. Then the music play and you all just get back running around again. One of them might be calling their daddy Uncle Twan. Jerome, give me the envelope. I'm about so sick of this. <laughs> Don't even make any sense. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. There are two sets of results because they are fraternal twins, so we tested each twin individually, of course. This first result is for Paris. In the case of Morris versus Thorpe, when it comes to four-year-old Paris Morris, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Morris, you are not the father. Well, you were correct there. You are not Paris's biological father. Miss Thorpe, you don't look surprised. <laughs> the next result is for London. In the case of Morris versus Thorpe, when it comes to four-year-old London Morris, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Morris, you are not the father. <laughs> Ms. Thorpe, Somewhere inside of you, you knew this was a very real possibility. I can see your reaction. Who 
is their father. The other guy I was talking to. When I told him I was pregnant, he stopped talking to me. So this makes sense. So you went with the guy with the best reaction. You went with the guy that was building nurseries. You went with the guy that was going to doctor's appointments. And you went with the guy that was going to support you through this. These twins, they need you to step in and make that call again. They deserve to know who their father is definitively. I want to try to get this man in this courtroom so we can determine once and for all if he is the twins' biological father. And if there is another possibility, maybe in some ways it's good you called him Uncle Twan. You know, maybe in some ways the universe just worked that right on out because now they just think it's an uncle, then they don't think he's their daddy because he's not. And they got my last name. And they have your last name. Uncle Twan's last name. I can't wait to hear y'all explain that to them. Wish you the very best. Court is adjourned. <laughs>